Hola, hola, it's me, Melissa Luna, again, and this is part two, consultations. Let's talk about consultations. I feel communication is key, right? Communicating our needs and having a vision of where we're heading is so important to actually achieving our end goal. Talk to me about your grilled cheese. How do you like your grilled cheese? I'm gonna tell you how I like my grilled cheese. I like my grilled cheese in um, baguette. I like it with maybe cheddar white cheese. I like it pressed panini style and really skinny with light butter inside. A grilled cheese is a grilled cheese, but how is your grilled cheese? Hmm, tell me about it. I want to hear and why am I asking this is because both of us have a total different perspective and love for something that it's some simple grilled cheese right bread butter cheese maybe bread vegan cheese gluten-free bread but all our grilled cheeses are slightly different so it's very important to understand that when we're talking to our hairstylist or in any case anyone our designer our landscaper, it is very important to have visuals. So bringing visuals or asking your hairstylist for visuals, it is crucial because we have pictures that we can refer and our eyes, just like our grilled cheese, can see things differently. When I um, have a consultation, the first thing that I love to do is sit with you and have an eye level conversation. And why is that? Because we connect. When we're having an eye to eye conversation, I'm sitting right in front of you, I know where I'm connecting with you, right? We are talking eye to eye. I also like to see what you're wearing, um, not for judgment, but just to see um, how colors work in you. What is your lifestyle like? Um, what, what do you like to wear and how you feel comfortable? So that is something I love to, to see what jewelry you wear, what colors do you wear, right? What, who you are. Then I'm going to, I start asking questions. But in this case, it is very important when you go to a consultation, you are open. You are open, it's great to bring pictures. It's great to bring pictures of hairstyles that you loved. Hairstyles do you love on someone? Anytime I am um, looking at a hairstyle or a hair color in a magazine or a Pinterest board, um, I always grab the hair color and I cover the face. Now my focus is on the hair. It's no longer on the person's face or appearance. So I can focus now on the colors or you can simply turn it upside down and you know, kind of like that distracts from the face. Now we can focus on truly what is it that we're seeing. I love to have visuals because what is red for me may not be red for you. A lot of people say, I don't like red in my hair. I don't want warmth in my hair, right? But sometimes it's just a golden tone. So super important, first thing to do is come dress how you normally are, be yourself. Number two, bring pictures of hairstyles that you had like on you or that inspire you. We never want to achieve a goal based on someone else's image, meaning you're bringing a hairstyle of someone you really love like JLo or I don't know, Kylie Jenner or Meryl Streep. It is an inspiration. So getting to understand that it is an inspiration of something that is going to burst through it's more important that having an expectation and that that's what you need to look like. When pulling pictures, always cover the face because then you can focus on the hair. Also super important, we all have budgets and that is so okay. I think there's nothing worse than eating an amazing food that you love but you actually had a budget and you forgot to ask what the market price was. And then you go to pay and all of a sudden that food just leaves a weird taste in your mouth. It's the same with your hair. When we craft hair for you, we're doing it in the most loving and kind manner and we're so proud of our work. 
we want you to shine and showcase it. So if you have a budget in mind, it's so okay to discuss that with your stylist, you know? When I have consultations, I'm like, okay, these are three options. This is option one. It's gonna take us so many times to get here. This is option two. We can get all this done right now, but this is how much it's gonna cost. And option three, this is like top notch. This is the commitment. And I like to tell you which, which option works best with your budget or your lifestyle today. And this is what is going to cost to maintain your hair. What is the point of having a great hairstyle if in a month it looks horrible and just grown out and you really can't maintain it and you did that first investment and now you don't feel good about it at all. So talking about budget, yes, it's always an uncomfortable subject, but it's just as simple as saying, hey, this is what I love. This is what, you know, after we talk, this is what I would like to see. Tell me a little bit about what is this gonna cost? Is there any options how we can break it down to achieve this goal? And what is going to be the maintenance? And can you tell me that in time and in money? So I can make a really good decision on how to maintain my hair. Oh, and are there any special products that I'm going to be needing to maintain this hairstyle or this look? So your hairstylist and you can have an honest conversation from the get-go and maybe some things need to be tweaked. Maybe it fits completely in your lifestyle. Maybe you start with the haircut and then just work towards the rest. So budget is another conversation. And really finding a stylist that connects with who you are. There's people out there, there's so many amazing stylists that do great work so many and it's just wonderful so many beautiful talented artists but it's very important that you also have a connection and that you vibe with them right that you have things that you like to talk about that are like-minded because you're here for a while we're gonna have conversation we're gonna talk we're gonna share we're gonna build a relationship so nothing like building a transparent relationship right and of course um Asking about cancellation policies and honoring people's time is great. And also allowing yourself to have the time needed to accomplish what you're coming to see the, the stylist for. So if you're unsure of your schedule and your time, and this is a first time um, appointment with a new client, I would totally recommend setting up a consultation prior to kind of get it a little bit of a feel of everything so you can come prepared so you can allow yourself that time so you can allow that moment for you to have an experience that it's not stressful for you to know how much you're going to have to pay and be prepared for your budgets and actually um, have a moment to really connect and see if this stylus is a great fit for you so those are some tips that I feel are great for a first-time um, stylist client encounter whether you are um, the client coming to see a stylist or really you can practice this into anything you go right like landscaping um, a chef a designer it's very important to vibe it's very important to have a, a vision that it's the same that our grilled cheeses are understood from the beginning that my grilled cheese is different than yours but they're both grilled cheeses in this that um, we're clear on our budgets, that we're honest on what it's gonna take to maintain our hair, and um, that we present ourselves as we truly are, so our stylists can actually learn more about us and have more freedom to create and suggest. Thank you for listening. I hope these are some tips that help you in any future relationship with your stylist or in your current relationship with your stylists. Don't get bored, don't get stuck in the rut, and don't be scared to have conversations about finances. After all, you want to enjoy this beautiful hairstyle, you wanna shine, you wanna be the most radiant you, and you want to continue a beautiful relationship that every time you go there, you feel you are just vibing all the right way. Bye.